so out of charity and kindness to the old folks, you got to respect your elders. You got to respect, you know, they're like, where am I? Who am I? What's going on? Oh, don't send them to the nursing home yet. So old man Rolo, who is the godfather, and as time goes on, it's more and more an apt and descriptive and accurate description. Uh, he came out with his latest book, The Player's Handbook. And I listened to it while hiking out in the Black Hills <clears throat> because it finally came out in audiobook. And I'm lazy and I don't like to sit and read. I like to do other things like not get fat. So I, I remember it was very pleasant, actually, but I'm hiking. It was where was I? Um, Atham looked this up. Oh, what was the name of it? It was Black Elk Creek Wilderness, but it was um, the Centennial Trail a section of it. It's, it does, has nothing to do. I'm just trying to paint you the picture. So I'm out in the heart of the Black Hills. Mount Rushmore was over there. Iron Mountain's behind me. <clears throat> Went down a valley. Beautiful, nice. And it, it's a lengthier, it's a lengthier book. I think on one and a half speed, it's eight hours long. I looked it up later. It's 500 pages. I'm like, holy cow, handbook, handbook. <laughs> I guess it fits in your hand. And I, I won't lie, I'm listening to it. I'm like, what the hell is this? And I'm like, I, I wasn't a fan of the book. And it wasn't because it was poorly written or anything like that. I had nothing to do with it. I'm like, yeah, I know this already. And so I'm listening to the whole thing. I'm like, yeah, okay, got that. <clears throat> yeah, I got that. And I'm like, why did, he, why did he write this? So I didn't have internet reception down in the valley. But when you get to the top of the mountains, uh, you actually have crystal clear uh, reception. So I got up and I looked up the, the thing again, the description. And basically, it's a, a compendium, um, an amalgamation uh, of the theory behind being a player, picking up girls and things like that. And what I realized is it is not, if you are listening to Rolo, if you've read his books before, if you consume his kind of any moderate amount, if you're if you're red pill, this book is not for you. Is it for you? It is for the uninitiated. It is for the yellow and orange and red belts, uh, to use a, a martial arts analogy. And he even uses that in his book. He talks about martial arts where it's like, okay, this is the theory, but ain't none of this going to matter until you get out into the, into the real world. And when I read through the description and then I started going through the chapter, I'm like, what did the chat? How did I'm like, oh, I see what he's doing here. <clears throat> and what he's doing is, it, it, it's exactly what he said he was going to do. I just didn't really think much about it. Uh, is instead of, say, going out into the field with Troy Francis or what Andrew Tate, one of these guys where you had real social dynamics, where you actually go out and get into the ring, that's fine. You're getting into the ring, and that's the best way to learn a martial art. It, because this isn't an actual martial art, this is theory strategy it's all cerebral it's all in your head a a kind of compendium a top down a working model of picking up girls being a player uh was called for that's what this is and then when you look at because it, it's it's audiobook and i put it on you know one and a half speed sometimes two depending on the <clears throat> the speed or the reading or the voice of the um the narrator but then when i looked at it, it's 500 pages <laughs> and it's 40 chapters i said did he organize it because I, I don't you know you go from one chapter to the next i'm hiking and i'm looking for mountain lions make sure i don't get eaten by bears <clears throat> and i realize it's a reference book it, it's to give you this overall model like here's how things work those are the first couple of chapters and then it's individual topics 40 of them I'm, well, how do you deal with this? How do you deal with that? How do you deal with this? And what the role it plays is not one of current. Uh, and that's why I was, I was thinking, like, how is this new? What it, what new is this bringing? That's why I'm like, I want to bring something new. I thought the book of numbers was rather clever because it brought statistics. Is Are we losing our minds? Are we crazy? Are we seeing things that aren't? Do we have bias? Nope. This is all real. It's all there. So it was new. <clears throat> the menu also new. Hey, we got to face this prospect. You ain't going to have a wife. Okay. Half of you are just going to be with us. New, new ground, new added. I'm like, this isn't new. 
wasn't meant to be new. It was meant to consolidate, clarify, and organize and put together a working model. So men today, <clears throat> let's say orange belt or blue, I don't know the belt. I know it's white, yellow, orange, red, red and below. Let's just say red and below or the uninitiated or the brand new or the billions of men that are going to be born after us. Now you got a working model. This is the concept. This is where you start. And then conveniently, you also have a reference book with 40 different subchapters, which covers it all. Uh, and I and that I only have it on audio. I don't have it on physical book, <clears throat> which I would recommend because it's a reference uh, for the last, you know, nine tenths, and, and you get the, the general theory, the overall theory up in the first few chapters. I would recommend you have it in physical form, and you can read through it in one sitting if you want. But it reminded it reminded me of two things. It reminded me of two things. The first thing was, holy crap, this is drinking from the fire hose. You forget how much there is. We're trying to model a lot. We're trying to model a lot. Like if you want to build a nuclear power plant, let's just say. I'm sure the instruction or how-to manual is rather thick and involved. We're trying to organize and structure uh, and categorize <clears throat> male-female interactions dynamics. And I can see where it's really intimidating, but it's kind of like bachelor pad economics. Don't re that's all the finances to carry you from birth to death. You wouldn't read all that in one shot. It's the same thing here. Read the first couple chapters, get the thing down, get your concept down, and then topically. Well, what about this? What about that? You know, search if you got it in digital format. Search for the topics, or go and consult each topic or chapter individually. <clears throat> but I was just like, oh my god, this is. This is so much. And even, even though it, I did it just like, oh man, I remember this is, this is painful. So it's going to be intimidating for the rookie kid or the orange belt and below. They're like, what was like, that, that's not how it's meant to be. Read it topically. If this situation arises, look it up in this book. And that, that's one observation I had. The other one. This is so ridiculous. I know, I know. He even says it in the book. Well, if I get married, can I just give it up? He's like, no, you got to keep, this is a chore. This is a burden, a lifelong burden. And I remember like, oh man, this is why I gave up being a player. This is why I'm just like, oh, here's your money, ladies. Like, get now, get the hell out. The, the amount of work required and that you men are also more than willing to invest in, in the pursuit of women. I was just like, there's no book like this. There's none for, for the women. Like, there's none of this. So you got to work this way. You got to figure out the strategy. Like, the amount of labor that has gone into <clears throat> reverse engineering, modeling, and fig quote, figuring out women. And then what you're called upon to do. Not just in terms of, you know, the money muscles game, which is a very, if you want it very simply, there you go. That I think is the P51 version of it. Like, here you go. It works. But then when you get into the details, the amount of labor and mental labor that goes into essentially indulging girls in the pursuit of women, I, I can, I could totally see where people check out, they black pill out, or they make le legit make the, like, I'm in and out, bye, see you gone. I got things to do, and it reminded me, like, why I dropped out. I'm like, this is this is a pain in the ass. Talk to Jack Napier right now. He's in the thick of it. He's 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 uh, slinging his seed. He's he's successful, but he always comes back. I've never met the man, but, you know, when we get it, he's just like, oh. It's just, it's a mental drain. It is a mental, laborious chore dealing with this. And 500 pages and 40 chapters, like, oh, my God. And if you want to, you want a different perspective, not, I'm not, I'm not for reading books twice. Read through it all in one shot. And be like, why? What? No. <laughs> I got to eat. I got a job. I got a life, man. And that was the other observation I had. I was like, just getting tired. I mean, I was already hiking, but I was just like, 
all this crap, all this attention, all this coddling, all this, okay, I'm going to figure, and, and, and frankly, it's not intended, it was not conscious, but if you look at the amount of hand-holding that is required to go in court in these United States of America or the Western Journal, it's actually quite insulting to how uh, an agency, agency-less uh, women are. And and how and, and this is not a criticism. This is but on the flip side of the same coin, uh, how genuinely disinterested women are in you because I don't see anything like that. Well, if anything, women are kind of like whining because men don't like fat chicks, and, and that that's their strategy. But the level of detail to which men go to identify, don't deliver tailor reverse like girls don't even tell you what you gotta translate you gotta figure out you gotta de decipher decipher <clears throat> don't deliver uh what are the other d's decide versus deciphering like guys like yeah we want thin girls with big tatas that back up into this and sex with a with a sweet feminine demeanor there it is we give them here's the formula here's the recipe do it this is just the book shows you it's it's just how much more complicated and how much more laborious am I? Oh no, man. Oh hell no. <laughs> I and you you younger guys, you got the sex drive, you got the dog girls, uh look at it. It it's almost a, a there's a statement that goes beyond what's is said in the book. That a 500 page book is required. I'm not criticizing the length either. I'm like, yeah, this is all required. And then I was like, slowly realized, oh my God. Oh. And the, the ultimate conclusion that I would say is that, like, any, you know, I'm sure a 500 page book could be written about martial arts. So any one of them. But in the end, and he says it, you got to get out there and do. And have it be all into because there's all this stuff like I like oh yeah I did that intuitively, uh, but I did not get the intuition until I trialed and failed a lot of times and then you just sitting there like oh man this is too much to remember, <laughs> this is too much, and it it's almost to the point that the best way to have this all encapsulated is to actually get in the ring and go do it and you'll learn these intuitively instinctually so you're not thinking about it, but it helps you understand. It will, as all books in the red pill will do, is it'll alleviate confusion, um, provide you forgiveness where you're like, I, what did I do? D nothing. Here's the thing. Chapter 37, subsection B, why she did this thing at that time and you were a dope for not. And there, there's a little bit where I could kind of forgive. It's like, there's no way a guy could take these 500 pages and be and bat even 500 with this crap. It's not crap. It's all true. And so I think that's a secondary statement <clears throat> that that kind of book is required and codified. Like, here it is. This is what you get to learn. <laughs> and so that that's it. So it, in that regard, it, it, with non old, bitter, boomer, Gen X, cappy, beleaguered eyes, I'm like, yeah, I know. Oh, I forgot about that. Oh, I don't, I don't, I don't. that this is for those of you who are younger, or you're just starting to get back in it. You still are going to go, and I'm I'm more maroon pill. I got one foot in the black pill grave, one in the red pill. I say they're one and the same, but I've talked about that before. I I just make the economic decision that yeah, this ain't worth it. No, <laughs> no, no, thank you, no. But for those of you who are newish or brand new. Or young, you know, yeah, this should be in your library. And it, it's a mandatory reference book. <clears throat> so if you're like, well, how do I, da, 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 it, it, each individual chapter will give you a framework for not all in total situations, because that's an infinite in theory number of situations you find yourself in. But they should fall into one of these general categories. And, you know, sometimes two or three. And that's why I'm saying get the, get the physical book so you can pick it up and reference it. Digital. It, Again, I could be old boomer. I don't know how to search text in um, uh, Audible. Uh, so I would just go through the chapters. 
But if you had an edit search fund, maybe Kindle would be a better like compromise. But I'd have it physically there. And I would, you can read through it uh, in one sitting if you want. But I'd read like the first five or six chapters, get the idea down. And then later on, okay, here's what I got. I'm in this situation. Have it in the trunk of your car. Excuse yourself to the bathroom when you're in the middle of a date. And she does X. Oh, my God. She did X. Go to the trunk. Oh, at chapter seven. Why are you in your trunk looking at that book? To try to figure out how to deal with a girl that doesn't shut up. Oh, she doesn't like me. She's just using me for money. Okay, got it. Uh, check, please. Separate bills. So there you go. <clears throat> All right, that's it. More on the way. We'll see you guys later. Toodles.